Hello Troglodytes, and welcome back to another video. So, in this episode, we are going to install a special theme for XFCE on the lab. So, I have Debian 12 installed on this thing with the XFCE desktop environment. And what we are going to do is we're going to install a special Windows XP theme for XFCE because that seemed like it would be interesting. So it's like a total conversion to turn your standard XFCE into Windows XP. And we're going to kind of explore how to do that and what the results are. So let's get into it. Alrighty then, so this is Debian 12 with our stock XFCE um, desktop environment installed here. Down here we have our home folder. So this is just a shortcut to the home folder with shortcuts to our various primary directories right here. So I can create a text document, I can create a new folder, I can open things in the terminal. So, this makes us, uh, allows us to look at what our file manager looks like. It's just our standard um, Thundar file manager. So this is the application finder. So this is just a list of applications on your computer that is searchable. So I want to search for like an LibreOffice. There it is. And here is the terminal. It's just the terminal. Up here is our different um, desktops, so our different workspaces. So it's your clipboard history if you want to do that. And here's all your standard, you know, Wi-Fi, volume, battery information, notifications, date and time, and then all your logout, login stuff. Over here is another list of applications organized into various, all of your most important standard stuff up here. Here's our file manager, all of our system preferences, a lot of them various accessories, you know, graphics, internet, Firefox, multimedia, office stuff, system stuff. And now that we've taken a super quick overview of the stock desktop environment, let's go dive in to our Windows XP theme. Alrighty then, so now it's time to actually install the, uh, the theme. Alright, so what we're gonna have to do is make sure we have all the prerequisites installed. Alright. And that's probably not going to get everything. Alright, so. We have now cloned the GitHub repo. We have all that downloaded, that's set up. We're in the right folder. So now what we gotta do is do the, run this check dependencies.sh file. Whoops. So let's go do that and I'll make sure we have all the right stuff installed. And this will go and check all the dependencies on my computer compared to the dependencies that the script will need. And then it'll tell me all the stuff that I'm missing. It says I'm missing all the stuff. So, so that should cut everything onto a new line. Oh, so, so cut it after the, the colon. And then it'll do that and then pipe that into a trim it after trim off the new line, I guess. Assuming that's what that should do. And then it should just install all that crap, hopefully. So it's running the, oh, sweet, that actually worked. Yeah, baby. Okay, so install all the crap. So it's gonna run that command one more time just to make sure it got everything. Which this is the stuff it's gonna build, so. I think this will be fine. So, you now let's just run sudo slash build all, oops, .sh. And now it's gonna build all the packages we need. So it's gonna build all the x86-64 Debian standard packages. Um, and then the hard part is, what do I do later? <laughs> Alright, so, it's 
built all the stuff. So now we have to install the output. So I'm not gonna quit that. I'm just gonna minimize it for a second. All right, so here it is. So it should say packaging slash XP XPTC. And then there we go. That's what it said before. Debian standard x86 64 FRE free. Um, that's what it said it was going to do. And here's all this crap. All right, so in theory, copy this. I go here. I open a terminal. I paste it. Except here I say sudo. It just says no file or directory for. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Ah, except I have to do that. So, hold on. I have to fix this command here, apparently. Oh, there we go. All right, now this is gonna work, I think. This is for this is the furthest I've gotten. Am I still recording? Yes, okay, my OBS has been weird, so. All right. This is a good sign, so it's running through all the packages and installing them. Why this wasn't part of the, the main set of instructions on the main GitHub, I don't know. I had to search through like the the uh, the issues page until I, find, I found someone asking the question, hey, uh, how do I install this after I built it? And then they said, here you go, here are some more comprehensive instructions. So, now what? So I've run the command, and now it, sh they're installed, so if I go to a, ah, here we go. That, um, Definitely She's different looking now. All right, so now we have to configure all the theming as we've done here. So this is working. This looks good right here. So GTK theme settings, appearance, style. So I think I've done that. Settings, appearance, style, icon theme, settings, appearance, icons the Luna theme. All right, all right, we're coming together. Change UI fonts under XFCC settings fonts. H, Tacoma regular. Uh, eight, how do I make that smaller? Like that, there we go. Honestly, I kind of liked it better at 10. I think I'm gonna make it, leave it, uh, leave it as it was. All right. Windows border decorations, XFCE settings. I think I already found that. XFCC settings, window manager, style for Windows XP style variants. Oh. Oh, I see. That's the wrong font. Wait, no, maybe not. Oh, I see. Okay, so trebuchet. Trebuchet bold 10. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. This is weird looking, but we're we're getting there. Hello. Uh. Hello. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, disable window shadows. XFCE settings. Window manager tweaks. Okay. Uh, compositor and check shadows under pop-up windows I mean I guess I kind of like the shadows though but sure why not turn that off shadows under dock windows shadows under regular windows turn all that shit off so cursor themes oh my god I have to change so many different settings. Oops, I could have gone back to all settings there. So settings, this is slowly, slowly coming together, boys. All right, so 
cursor is selectable under XFCE settings. Mouse and touchpad. Oh my god. Alright. Theme. Windows XP standard. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Shell set up. Open a terminal. YOLO. Oh god. Oh, what is this gonna do? XF. <laughs> okay. To add shell programs under startup. Well, how do I? How do I restart the the panel? Alright, so what I'm going to do is reboot the system. Oh, that looks wonky. Okay, so that's definitely... <laughs> we're definitely... We're definitely getting there. Alright, back to my tutorial. Add shell programs to session under startup. So... What is this? So XFCE... Back to the settings, always. All right, session and startup. Whoa, hello. Session startup. Okay. Application auto start. Add new name. Win TC desktop. Command. Win TC. Desktop, and then add another one, okay. Win TC task band, okay. Command, win TC, win TC task band. All right. Oh, hello. get rid of all that. All right, so close all that stuff over start menu down here. So that's basically what we want. So, so keyboard application shortcuts. Okay, add, add run, run. Bring up the run command. Okay, that's pretty cool. So XFCE settings, settings edit four. Oh my god. X settings. Okay. Okay, probably the X window settings. Uh, enable event sounds. Yes. Enable input feedback sounds. Okay. Sound theme name. Set to uh, I N Windows XP default. All right. All right. Well, that worked, sort of. So there we go. Now we have a very, very different looking operating system. <laughs> All the niceties are gone, and we've <laughs> reverted back to the Stone Age. Vaguely similar, I did my walkthrough at the beginning, and now I'm gonna do my walkthrough at the end. So we have, you know, our accessories, our gray affix. Internet Explorer. No way. Whoa, bro, we have fucking IE, let's go! <laughs> Oh, this is so weird. What is this? Uh, frog, oh, and that crashed that. All right, so trying to, oh, that's because I didn't, um, I did it wrong. That's why, probably. Let's do 
it this differently. So HTTPS www.google.com. All right. Stay signed out. So, frog find. Frog find. An acceptable certificate. All right. So, I mean, that's Internet Explorer for you. Well, there we go. Um. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. <laughs> oh, this is so random. But we have that. I have my documents, whatever. So this is the still thunder, but it's been sort of themed. So I try, I guess, to see even this PC sounds themes wallpaper. So we do have. We do have wallpapers. So it is wallpaper. That didn't work. All right, so there's some some wonkiness here because again they said this is experimental and not necessarily guaranteed to work. So yeah. So anyway, we have our file. It's so different now. It's crazy. Unless I can open up the picture and then look at that. Yay, we have bliss running even though that's that let's just pretend let me pretend so there we go boys this is windows xp for xfce on debian on linux It'll probably work on a variety of distros as they mentioned before um you know they have rpms they have for void linux they have it for arch they have it for this that and the other thing but yeah you know i have my firefox this is a little weird looking, but um, you know, that kind of works. Yeah, okay, that's cool. So it's literally just a dictionary app. Okay. That's super cool. Yeah, there we go. Mouse pads, it looks like notepad. Um, sort of, I mean, it's not too crazy. I have this, it's sort of, eh, it's a little off, but it's, better, especially this KDE go-to thing right there. Uh, menu bar, toolbar, yep, maybe don't enable the toolbar. Looks a little weird. Status bar. Oh, status bar, that's good. There we go. So there we go. Um, so that's working. This is really weird feeling. I don't know, I feel like I've just taken something that was really nice before, the, the nice, clean looking XFCE, and I've just ruined it, <laughs> so. That's pretty cool. Oh, and you can't see because my uh, picture's in the way here. Well, I can show you that there is a little camera. There's a little audio picker down over here. Oh, there we go, yeah, volume. I can change the, the volume. Oh, there we go. Making the donk. There we go. So all right, that was an adventure, but I finally figured out how to get this theme installed onto XFCE. So on Debian 12. So this was an adventure. There we go. All right, bye.